All right, I'm back. I had some glare on the monitor, but uh, now I can see again. And so, I hear a zombie. I can't tell what direction he might be in. I think it sounds like he's to my right. Uh, there are many directions to go just to start things off. And so I'm going to randomly kind of pick one to put out some torches. Oh, there's a bunch of water. There's more water over here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything down here. Let's see. Over here... Where's this water coming from? It looks like it's right here. Do I have a bucket? I don't have a bucket anymore. Alright, I did lose a few items. And... Alright, great. Cut that water off. Uh, yeah, and so I definitely need to mine ores, like coal and iron. Uh, yeah, because I did lose some stuff. All right, it's quiet over in this direction. Quiet is a nice change of pace. I'm already running low on torches. Haha, -ha, but I see some iron, which is great. And if I could find some coal as well, that would be fantastic. All right, and there's some coal. Great. And that looks like the way back to the entrance, and I have four torches left. So I'm going to put out a few more torches, like so. All right, and then I'm going to go back and take a moment to mine a few of these resources, because I need the coal, and I need to go get that iron. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, I am back, and... Yeah, mined a ton of coal, and so now I have torches again, and also picked up that iron. And so now I'm going to carefully go down here. I want to make sure there aren't any other holes in the ground that I'm failing to see as I approach. And wow, there actually seems to be a high ceiling in here. I can't see what might be above me. And so I think I will take a moment and make a dirt elevator. I don't have that much dirt on me. It's amazing the kind of things you take for granted. But that's okay. I can make a cobblestone elevator too. And... Aha. Alright. So up here... Oh, there actually is something up here. Alright. So there's an interesting potential direction. And so let's go ahead with what little cobblestone I have left. And make a walkway. and explore in here, because I prefer to have this lit up so that things won't be falling on my head unexpectedly. All right, it turns out that that was just a little alcove, but still good for safety's sake to have done that. And now my elevator is on that thing, and I need to get back down. And so I will stand here before elevatoring back down. And now that I'm down a little bit lower, put out a few more torches just so I can see the ceiling better to see if there's any other openings that are above me. All right, and so I can see this portion of the ceiling okay. There's still ceiling over there that I can't see very well. And I see pigs, so I must be near the entrance, and this guy has just kind of fallen down in. But let's do another elevator up, let's say right here. And yeah, it's definitely dark at the ceiling. And see what we see. All right, and so it looks like this is relatively safe. Although, all right, there's something here. And I have two pieces of dirt. All right, which is just enough to walk across here. So let's check out what's happening at this level. This might be just another entrance from the outside, I'm not sure. I'm obviously near the surface, because I hear pigs and cows and whatnot. Yep, okay, and so that appears to be just another entrance at the surface. Great, so now I know it's there. 
and there's a big old pile of gravel over here but I don't really need flints and don't want to use up all my shovel and so I am going to simply go back down and explore now deeper down into the cave and since I see two pieces of coal here I'm gonna grab them real quick on camera all right a little more than two but that's it I'll grab that and I'll keep going all right, and there's the other entrance where I came in, and here is somewhere where I'm going to want to be able to shut off some water. If I can ever reach it. Yee! Water current strong. And I need to use cobblestone to try to plug this up. There we go. Ah, much better. I can hear myself think. All right, so is there anything over this way? Oh, it just might be another entrance to the outside. I see stars. Yep, apparently there were a number of entrances to this cave that I never noticed. Uh, all right, and so is there anywhere that we can go that's deeper into this cave? All right, well, there's some other resources here that I'm going to go ahead and mine, and I will bring you guys back in when I find something else interesting to do. See you in a little bit. Okay, we're back. I was mining out some resources, and you may recall that I placed this little, there used to be a block here, uh, torch right under here, and I'm stepping into here, and it looks like there's more to the cave system down here, and so let's go explore it. Yep. Ah, that must be the hole that the zombie fell down into that I plugged up at the entrance uh, when we first got down into this cave. And so let's see if this goes anywhere. I like the fact that it's going down because that's where the good resources are. And I hear a zombie, but I also see a dead end. So at this point, I'm going to use my ears And he is somewhere to my right. And so I'm going to start digging through here and bring you guys back in when I find another cave opening. Okay, I didn't have to go very far. I went to here, and here's an opening. Can't see too well into there yet, but let's go ahead and cut this sucker open. And I... do I see a zombie? No, I don't see him yet. I hear him. And I'm a little low on torches, so I'm going to just go around the corner real quick and make some more torches. All right, that'll be good. All right, and now let's go on ahead, and I'm going to go to the right first, simply because... That way I won't have stuff falling on my head as I go down to the left. And things are definitely getting... Ah! Louder! Whew. Hooray for hotkeys. So once again, one of Brian's tips... Yeah. Alright, one of Brian's tips uh, is to use some kind of... Ooh, where is he? Is he around that corner? I didn't even see him. Yeah, there he is. Let's use my bow and arrow. I'm kind of firing blind here. I can't actually see him down the corridor. Ah, oh, there he is. Ah. All right, there, got him. Um, yes. Use some kind of hotkey mapping software or something so that you can easily... Uh, I always have my sword in inventory slot number one. Wow, this is interesting. Huh. I always have my sword in inventory slot number one. All right, we are going to come back there in a minute. And uh, then I have my thumb mouse button mapped to the key one. Uh, so as a result, if I all of a sudden, you know, wherever I am in my inventory... Uh, I can just press the thumb button on my mouse, 
Ah, rats, I don't have another shovel. Uh, and then immediately switch to my sword, and that's what I did when that zombie just came around the corner a moment ago. Oops, didn't mean to knock out that torch. Alright, there's obviously some stuff over to the right of me. Ooh, and possibly above me up here. Alright, I need to find a little bit of a safe spot. Here's what I'm going to do. I don't think anything can come from this way. But just to be a little safer, I'm going to box that off. And then I'm going to box this off. And use this as a temporary base station because I need to make some more tools. So I'm going to plunk down a crafting chest and a furnace and whatnot and make some tools. And I will rejoin you guys in a little bit. All right, I'm back. As you see, I just uh, put down a crafting table and a furnace, and I went ahead and turned my iron into iron ingots and made a shovel and also cooked up the rest of my raw pork chops. So we are ready to continue again, and we have a couple directions we can go. And arbitrarily, I will start with this little narrow passageway that we saw that had this crazy little water fountain. Pick that up since I'm about to explore this way. Recall that I leave torches in the center, just kind of on the ground, for places that I'm marking that I need to come back and explore in the future. Oh, and I just thought of, uh, that was dumb. Uh, I just thought of one other thing I want to do, which is, while I have the crafting table right here, and while I have some iron on me, I will create a bucket, so that I have at least one bucket. And next time I see water, I'll collect it in the bucket. So that if I do happen to encounter lava and get on fire, even though I haven't been successful with it yet, uh, perhaps I'd be able to put myself out. <laughs> All right, and so this seems to connect into some other chamber over here, as well as, does it go somewhere down here? No, it's just a dead end down here. All right, so I guess we'll try the other chamber that's over here. And I hear water, which is good from the point of view of, all right, it seems to be below me. Oh, and it seems like it's possibly even the sources below me. Haha! -ha! I believe that is the source. And so now, I can immediately put my happy bucket to use and kill two birds with one stone. I now have a water bucket on my person, and I've turned off the annoying water noises. Everybody wins. Alright, and so let's see what we find in here. It appears to go down. It appears also that there's something above me here. And so I'm a little concerned about that. Wow. And this seems to go pretty deep and steep. Oops. But also have high... <laughs> ah, crap! Yeah! <laughs> oh, you... Ah, crap! Ugh. All right. I don't know if the creeper fell down from there, but let's explore up there first, since I'm not feeling very safe here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am kind of surprised that I managed to get away from him at all. All right, what do we got going on here? Doesn't look like there's much here. Let's uh, give myself a little step. Yes, okay, this is just a tiny little alcove. There's nothing here. Great. And I can just elevate her back down. Okay. Ooh, hey, some iron. Looks like it might have just been that one piece. All right, so we had a creeper explode here, and I didn't see where he came from, so I'm a little worried that... Uh, yeah, he might have like fallen from somewhere and been on my head, and so I want to be very careful. Yeah, it looks like there's possibly a place to go up as well as down in here. And I don't hear anybody else right now. Oh! <laughs> but now I see them! Darn it! <laughs> Alright. Well, armor is a good thing. Uh, yes, this seems to be infested with creepers. Oh, there was another piece of iron here. Let me grab that real quick.